welcome back to my channel, Easy Ed Tech. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some free resources that you can use to really up your Google Slides game. You can also use them in PowerPoint, but I prefer Google Slides myself. And there's some different tools like Slides Mania, Slides Carnival, Slides Go. I'm going to show you how to find a class app template, some games like Jeopardy and Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, as well as just some regular activities that you can use in your classroom, like slides templates that you can use for your regular lessons, and also some outstanding activities that you can find online. And a big shout out to Jillian Graham and Allie Unger Fink for letting me showcase their work in this tutorial. So thanks guys, I really appreciate it. And now if you enjoy this video, please take a moment and like and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell right next to it to make sure that you get all the notifications of my future videos. I really appreciate your support. It really means a lot to me. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is Slides Mania. Slidesmania.com is the address and they, she has a whole section here for education. So you can pick any of these categories or you can just pick education. And there's so much cool stuff here. There's a handbook template, a hyperdoc handbook template, a class YouTube channel, digital notebooks. A lot of people I've seen making digital notebooks now, a class app. So if you're interested in that, you just click on it and go to the page where you can see all this information that she has for you, including a video, how to use it, how to update it, how to edit it. And once you get down here, you can either download for PowerPoint or use in Google Slides. I'm a Google Slides girl myself, so I'm going to click that. And now I can preview it and just kind of scroll through. Yep, I like this, this is cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that template. So I just click on use template in the top right hand corner and it's gonna make a copy which is gonna go right to my Google Drive. So this copy is now mine to use. I can change it however I like. It's in my Google Drive so I can get to it at any time and she's got tons of resources on Slides Mania so definitely go check that out. You can also use notebook style or weekly planners or yearly planners. Let's check out one in notebook style. So this looks cool. So I'm just going to go down, get my theme. And again, you just go through and edit exactly how you want. You put your information here on your activity, then what you're going to talk about, and your lesson, add your title. So this one's more you would use for um, just like a regular lesson or a presentation. So these, these are just a great way, great templates to use and just play with. So let's look at another source. So Slides Go also has some great presentations. So again, you can just scroll through and see what they have, or you can go to education and see what's there. So here there's, you can, for your thesis defense, school lessons. So if you just wanted a lesson pattern, you can just click on this use a Google Slides theme, click on that. And here we're gonna make a copy. And once I make this copy, again, it's gonna be right in my drive for me to find later. You can retitle it. And again, this is just a template that you can fill in in any way that you like. Another cool template here in Slides Go is the interactive bulletin board. So I'm gonna get that as a theme make a copy for myself. So again, now I've got a copy in my drive and I can go ahead and edit any part of this template. 
and use it for my own classroom and make choices about what I put in here. And this is just a fun template to check out. Slides Carnival is set up in a little bit of a different way, but it's got some really cool presentations. So you can just go through, see which ones that you find interesting and go ahead and use that. So this is a good one, the Jeopardy one. I know a lot of us use Jeopardy for review or for games. So I'm just gonna say go to preview and download, use as Google Themes, use as Google Slides theme. And then I can use this Jeopardy game anytime I want for my classes. I can just cross this out and then you can just go ahead and make whatever changes you want. So there's a lot of great free interactive tools. And I may be biased, but to me, this is the best resource of all, Bitmoji Craze for Educators. I am a moderator of this group, so um, that's why I might be a little biased. But it's really great. There are so many free resources here. If you scroll through the feed, once you become a member, you're going to see tons and tons of Bitmoji rooms and Bitmoji scenes that people are just freely sharing. You can make a copy drop in your own Bitmoji and use it as is, or make whatever changes you want and make it your own. But we also have topics. So for example, if I am a high school math teacher and I'm looking for an activity, I just go to the math six through 12, tag in the topics. And then I can scroll through and see what's been shared here that might be of interest to me. So I can just scroll through here or I can do a search if I'm looking for something specific. So if I wanna look for an Algebra 2 activity, this one looks cool. I'm gonna open it up and Jillian, who's one of my co-moderators, has shared this with everyone. And I am just gonna go ahead and make a copy of this entire presentation. I can rename it if I want, or I can rename it later. Then I have this whole activity that I can use that she's taken the time to create. And I can change out the Bitmoji and make it my own make whatever changes I want to this activity before I share it with my students. And by the way, Jillian also has an awesome YouTube channel that you should definitely check out. The link will be in the, in the description box below the video, but especially her video on how to share slides with students is awesome. Here's another great activity that I got from Bitmoji Craze for Educators. And this one was shared by Allie Unger Fink. And it's a great activity that you could do in person or you could do via Zoom or hybrid or whatever your instruction is. Her slides are not editable. These are not fonts that you can get in Google Slides. So she's put these as backgrounds, but the Bitmojis are editable. So you could take out your her Bitmoji and put your own in, just hit delete. Um, and so this is a great activity. It's a lot of fun. You could also make a copy. I made a copy here and I put in a new slide with rules of the game. You can see I had to use different fonts and I adapted it for Pear Deck. So let's check that out because Pear Deck is a really great online activity. So I'm just gonna go to add-ons. If you don't have Pear Deck installed, you can go to get add-ons and just install it right here. Click on this. For me, it's installed. If it's not installed for you, you would just click install right there. It's, I'm using a 90 day free trial of Pear Deck. I'm gonna open up Pear Deck and I'll actually, before I start, I'm going to to show you how I added Pear Deck to these slides. I'm gonna just delete her Bitmojis and I did a quick screenshot of the background underneath and just dragged it over 
to cover up the words that are there. And actually, I need to close this for just a second. And then I just inserted an image. I used this one. And so I did that for A and B for all the slides. And once you have the ones you like, the letters A and B that you like, you can just go back to a previous slide, highlight it and copy. I'm gonna press Command C or Control C and then come back to this slide and Command V or, or Control V. And I'd need to do the trick to get rid of the, the wording behind it first. And then to add Pear Deck, it's super easy. Now I'll open up Pear Deck again, and let's add a choice. I'm gonna click next. Choice A was draw, and choice B is dance. I don't need choice C, so I'm just gonna X that out, and update slide, and that's it. The interactive question is now added. It's that easy. So let's go back to the beginning. Now, you're going to see a different code on my phone than you are on the computer. When you're doing this for real, the codes are the same. I couldn't record my phone and my computer at the same time, so I had to do two different sessions. But generally speaking, the code's going to be the same on your computer and on the student's phone. That's the code that they use to join. And I'm going to start the lesson in Pear Deck. Student paced activity means the students can go at their own pace. I'm going to select instructor paced activity so they can't move on until I have allowed them to move on. Okay, so on my mobile device, I'm going to join as a student and enter my code. Let's start the class now that there's a student in there. And once the teacher starts the class, this is what the student's view looks like on their mobile device. And I'm just going to move forward with the arrow. You can also use the arrow keys. The rules of the game show up on my mobile device as well as on the computer. And now I get to answer the question. So students could, of course, do this on a Chromebook or a computer. I just did it on my phone because that's what I had handy. So you answer the question, and then we go back to the teacher view. I can show the responses. Oh, one person selected Beach Day. And then you can go on, and it moves on on the student's device as well. And I'm going to use the arrow key, and that's it. It's as easy as that to use Pear Deck. It's a lot of fun. So that's a great way to do a kind of getting to know you activity. So, and here are some awesome resources from Ditch That Textbook. If you scroll down, you can see there's free Google Slides templates, there's video tutorials, all these kinds of things. So let's go down to the Google Slides templates, all kinds of different games, Family Feud, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, a TikTok template in Google Slides. I like the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire game. And you get the Google Slides template. And here are the instructions. You, he shares it as view only. So all you have to do is go to file and make a copy of the entire presentation to make it your own. And then you'll be able to edit it in any way that you want. So you can add your own questions for a review style game. You can do the family feud. And if we scroll up, he has all kinds of different categories here. So here is the family feud game. And this is a good one rather than just getting the template. He's got a whole article here about how to do it. Is it right for you? The key to make this work creating how to create your own slides. And here's the link to the template where you can make your copy. Adding the theme music. So there's a lot of great stuff here. 
So those are some fun, quick, easy ways to really up your Google Slides game and your online instruction. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and of course, tell all your teacher friends all about it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you again soon. Thank you.